Okay, what you'll notice with this one is the form it wants us to write this in doesn't have a SERD at the bottom. So this is what's called rationalizing the denominator. Now this is quite a complex question because we have two terms at the bottom. Now this is not that easy to get your head around um, if you don't remember the strategy for doing this. So think back to um, difference of two squares and think what happened then. Well, if you have um, x plus 4 and x minus 4, that gives us x squared plus 4x take away 4x, which just gets rid of them, and then uh, 4 times minus 4, which is minus 16. We're going to use this strategy here because what it does is it gets rid of the x terms. We do have the x squared terms, uh, term, but when you times the third by itself, it actually gets rid of the square root. So in this question, we've kind of got this bit, and all we need to do is times it by this bit. So I'm going to put brackets around the top and bottom here. And what I want to do is times the bottom by 6 plus, oh, not plus, 6 minus root 2. And whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top as well. So we do have to do that to the top. OK, what does that give us? Well, at the top, it gives us 2 plus root 2, 6 minus root 2. And at the bottom, that gives us 6 plus root 2, 6 minus root 2. OK, so let's expand that. Now, you can do this with foil or with grids or anything else. I'm going to try and attempt to do this in my head. So we've got 2 times 6, which is 12. We've got 6 root 2, take away 2 root 2, so that's going to be 4 root 2. And we've got positive root 2 times negative root 2, so that would be a minus 2. And at the bottom, we've got 6 times 6, which is 36. We've got 6 root 2, take away 6 root 2, which gets rid of the root 2s. And then we've got root 2 times minus root 2, which is just going to be minus 2. So notice there's no third at the bottom anymore, which is good because that's what we wanted. 12 take away 2 at the top is just going to be 10 plus 4 root 2. Can't do anything more with that. 36 take away 2 is 34. So that could be the answer, but actually we can actually cancel it down a little bit further. So if I halve top and bottom, that will give me 17 there, 5 there, and 2 there. So for our answer, A will be 5, or 10 if I didn't divide everything by 2. Uh, B will be uh, 2, or 4 if I didn't divide everything by 2. And C will be 17, or 34 if I didn't divide anything, everything by 2. I think it would be a bit harsh if you made it all the way to the end and um, they didn't give you the mark, especially as it doesn't say to simplify uh, in the question. So I think for this question you'd get it either way.